Hi, this is Randy from Friday Eggs Golf, and today I'm going to be doing a What's in the Bag for 2016. Uh, I'm going to start with the putter here. This is an Odyssey Tank Cruiser, number 7 model. I love this putter because of all the adjustments you can make on it. I've taken all the weights in here and I've replaced them with the heaviest versions. So there's a 30 gram in the butt end here and two 20 grams in the head. It just makes this putter super heavy and I like that because it creates more stability for me through impact because I don't necessarily hit it always in the center of the putter face. So, I like that. Moving on from there, we're going to go to the wedges. I play the Mizuno MPT5 wedge with a dynamic gold uh, X100 soft step in the shaft and I'll talk a little bit more about the shafts I play uh, when I get to the irons especially. But anyway, I play the MPT5 wedges in 50 degree, 54, and 60. The reason I went that route is because uh, with the 50 and 54, I like that gapping from my pitching wedge to the 50 to the 54 on full swings. I don't want to have a hiccup there where I have to think about taking a little bit off or adding a little bit more. I can just know my yardage is all the way down to my 54 degree and everything smooth and gaps out perfectly. Now, with the reason I went to a 60 there instead of a 58, because if you do your math, there's four degrees between 50 and 54. I went to a 60 because I enjoy that versatility around the green. I love to be able to roll this thing open, hit really any kind of shot I need to, and I love the performance on these things. The grooves are definitely aggressive, they have a nice texture to the face, I get excellent spin and control around the greens with these. Moving on from there, we'll go to the irons. Once again, I play the Mizuno. This is the MP15 iron with uh, titanium muscle in the back. I love the way these golf clubs feel. I love the way they look. I think Mizuno makes a great forged iron. Now, this being a forging and looking like a player's iron, it actually offers a lot of forgiveness with that titanium muscle. What they did basically was carve out a big chunk of the steel there, replaced it with titanium, which is much lighter, and it really throws the weight to the perimeter of the golf club. So, uh, I don't necessarily have to hit it in the center every time, which I don't, and it still performs and it feels absolutely fantastic. Now, these irons were custom uh, built for me. I play them at standard length, and the reason being, yeah, because I should actually play a half inch short, but I play them at standard length because I like the swing weight. So all I do is I just choke up a half inch on them, and I just have always done that my whole life, and it just feels comfortable to me. Shaft I play is, the, once again, Dynamic Gold X100 Soft Step, and what that means is at the factory, when they installed these, they actually take them and they build them between an X100, which is extra stiff, and an S300, which is just regular stiff. And it's right in between there because not quite fast enough club head speed to swing the full X1, but I'm a little bit faster than a standard S300 would be. So plug that shaft in. The heads are bent two degrees flat. So if you look at it from here, this if this was a standard head, they're bent where the toe would be down a little bit farther because I'm not very tall. And I like the fact that that makes the club a little bit more fade bias, so I don't have to worry about turning it over too hard uh, when I play a draw. Now, I play those irons from pitching wedge all the way up to four iron because I feel like I get proper carry distance on the four still, good launch angle. But I did notice a couple years ago that that uh, carry distance for my three iron started to deplete. So I replaced it with a hybrid for the first time ever. And I chose the X-Hot hybrid. This is the original x Hybrid. This is not some new one that you haven't ever seen before. This has been out for quite a while. Uh, I play it with the Project X uh, PX shaft. It's a 6.0, which is pretty much a stiff, a little bit, maybe a little bit stiffer than that. It's a 20 degree. It's the Pro model, which means it just has a little bit less offset to it. Uh, I love this club so much. This is like my get out of jail free card right here. I hit this thing out of the rough. I hit it out of the fairway. I hit it off the tee. It really is a do-all golf club for me. Uh, I actually hit this thing so much that I caved the face in on it, the first one I had, and I sent it back to Callaway, and they're like, hey, no problem, we'll send you the brand new X2 Hot, and I'm like, no, you won't. You're going to find an older one for me, which they did because they have awesome reps there inside their uh, facility, and they sent me the original with the same shaft, and uh, I did cut it down about a half an inch because uh, these things, hybrids especially into your fairy woods and and drivers, they make them too long, especially for me. So I had a, a little bit of length cut off the end there. Once again, that's just my bread and butter club there. Now, even though I said that was my bread and butter club, my favorite golf club is actually this Tour Edge Exotic CB Pro. This is the limited edition, and this club, I just get like goosebumps just touching it. Uh, it has 14 and a half degrees of loft on it. It has a speeder, 757, Fujikura extra stiff shaft in it, 
and this thing is really just a bombshell. Now, if you know, you've never heard of exotics before, uh, made by Tour Edge. They really started the cup face technology in fairway woods. They had it a long time ago, like 15 years ago. And it's not until the last five years that, you know, TaylorMade came out with the rocket balls and really started to close that gap. But for the longest time, these were the standard when it came to fairway wood and distance. Performance on this thing is amazing. It feels great. It looks great. Uh, once again, I took a little bit of length off. I think I took an inch off of this from the factory when they built it for me. And they just, oh, I just love touching it. It's, it's amazing. Now, the one we all love to talk about is the driver. And I don't know if maybe you see me hit my driver in some of the club reviews or anything I do like that. But this is a, a Callaway Big Bertha Alpha. This is the original Alpha. And I know what you're going to say when I pull the head cover off of it. It's, Randy, that's not the right color. That's black and it's supposed to be blue and red. Uh, I know. But I like black, so uh, Callaway has this awesome program, it's called a U-Design, and you can take whatever combination you want with color, and you can actually build the driver on their website, and I'll show you a picture of it as you're doing it, and you can make this thing pretty much any way you want to. I'm super boring, and I love black, so I just blacked it out. Uh, black crown on it, the uh, weight port there is black, everything's black about it, and actually... Uh, I, uh, you can see engraved there on the toe there, this is my boomstick. And if you Army of Darkness fans out there will get that. But this driver really changed the game for me because, strangely enough, I have a very high launch angle. I have a very, uh, I swing up at the ball quite a bit, which is partially why me being so small, I still get a lot of distance. But my launch angle is usually around 14. Spin rate, I rarely ever spin it over 1,800 RPMs to spin, which is scarily low. And... The first time ever with this gravity core, I was able to actually flip that and actually increase my spin uh, of the golf club just by flipping a weight around there and not having to change really anything with my swing. So that really changed the game for me. But anyway, I have a nine degree head here built uh, to minus one. So it's down to an eight degree and it's just neutral face setting. Uh, I've taken, once again, some heavier weights and put them in the head because I did have this driver cut down uh, to a 44 and a half but I choke it down to a 44 because that's where I really feel like I get my best results. The shaft in it is a Matori Speeder. This is uh, the Tour Spec VC 6.2 Extra Stiff Flex. And I just, I don't know, I love everything about this club. I know it's older and I know that uh, Callaway hates the fact that I still play it and talk about it. But with me, if I find a club that I love, I stick with it as long as I possibly can. Obviously, with the hybrid there, I busted it, and I had them send me back an old one as opposed to a new one. But this, I really haven't found a club that, outperform it, that outperforms this one. I've found clubs that are close and that, that reach the same numbers, but I just I feel so confident with this club, and I feel like every time I grab it that uh, I'm just going to beat the bejeebers out of it. So uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Wraps it up. That's uh, what's in my bag. If you have any questions or comments, just uh, stick them in the box below there, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, but other than that, get out there and play some golf, and uh, let me know what you're playing. I'd love to hear. That seemed really insincere. <laughs> really, though, I would love to hear what you're playing. So just let me know, and uh, other than that, enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.